Yep, you did it again. You clicked on another video. Thank you so much. Well, I know you're ready to grow, so let's get started and let's go. Grow, eco neighbor. Grow, 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 eco neighbor. Grow, 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 eco neighbor. Grow, 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 eco neighbor. Good day and many blessings to you, fam. Today I got a special guest. Come on, come on over. Come on, don't be shy. Give me one moment. Let me let me, let me help my special guest out to come on over. Come on, come on, come on. It's okay. So, welcome to my heavy duty camp grill. Before I unbox it, I want to share with you my first experience with my portable camp grill. This right here, this particular grill, I'm excited. I've wanted one for a while. It's portable, it's lightweight, and we're getting ready to cook a little something. And we're cooking it right out here in the garden. So y'all stay tuned and make sure that you keep on growing. Grow. Well, what it is is a 24 by 16 by eight and a half in height. So the height here, is eight and a half then we got 24 inches here then we got 16 here i'm excited i'm ready to do it it's a heavy duty camp grill and it's by tech sport and it's rugged angle iron frame metal grill surface ideal so let's let's open this puppy up and let's see what we have here exciting times for me i'm ready to cook All right, let's open this up and see what we have. Now that's the easy assembly that I ever had to do for unboxing anything. As you can see, it's ready to go. It doesn't get any simpler than this. I love this wide grill. I got the perfect dish that I'm going to cook on this. We're going to cook a little fish, but we're going to cook it in a little special way. So let's get ready. Let's get everything prepped and let's get everything ready to go. What I'm cooking with, I'm cooking with oak today. I'm making my firewood uh, with oak. Whenever I'm cooking, I try to cook with oak because that's what I have available. So some of our ingredients that we will be gathering uh, to make this dish is I'm going to take some banana leaves. We're going to wrap the fish in the banana leaves after we season and prepare it and we're going to cook it over an open fire. So let me grab a few of these banana leaves. Put that one there. And one more. Okay, got banana leaves. Then we'll be going over to citrus row over here. And we're gonna get some lemons. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna grab a few lemons. I like this one up here. Go right here. Get this one here. That was a little close. Down there. And we'll get some lemons and let's see. 
We get some green onions. And we're gonna harvest some ginger, so let me get a get some ginger here. Yeah. Actually I don't need but a little bit of this, so we'll get some ginger. Get everything cleaned up. We got a few chives. That if I do this without holding the camera, so I mean, last get a few we'll get a little oregano, a little herbs. Ring the bell when you get it. Okay, we have the fish here. I love tilapia. Some people don't like it. I love it. I have some tilapia fillets here. Have the have the ginger here. Have a lemon. We'll have some um, onion, green onions. I'm gonna use this New Orleans Cajun mix. I'm gonna do parsley flakes. Do cayenne pepper. I'm gonna do garlic. And I'm gonna spray the leaves down with a little vegetable oil. So I'm gonna spray the leaves down and I'm gonna add these ingredients and I'll show you once I get everything ready to go, okay? Okay, we got everything seasoned up. Got a few more fillets to, to place on there. And we're gonna wrap them in the banana leaves and we're gonna place them on the grill. Okay, we got everything set up and it's cooking nicely. One thing about cooking with banana leaves, it insulates the meat. It, it pretty much puts a blanket on it on the fire. So it cooks rather quickly. And with it being fish, it won't take long, won't take but a few minutes over the fire. And the flavor, that's the reason why I'm wrapping it with the banana leaves. Uh, with the oak smoke and with this banana leaf flavor, I, it, it it just it just adds flavor to whatever meat you're cooking it in so if you want to pump up the flavor of any type of meat try cooking it in banana leaves pork fish i haven't tried it with beef yet but man you're talking about enhance increase um flavor it's pretty darn good so i'm about ready to flip it over and i'm gonna take it out of the fire so i'm gonna flip it and uh i'll bring you back when everything's complete So hey fam, I wanted to show you all a picture of the fish and the dish that I was going to create. So what I did, I had some, some potatoes, uh, mashed potatoes, and it had like chives and garlic. And I was going to prepare the fish and show it, but after I got finished cooking, the weather got kind of squirrely and I stepped away from the kitchen. I brought everything in the kitchen. And I pretty much prepped everything. But guess what? It took me a little while. It took me probably about an hour. But <laughs> my daughters, I think one blamed it on the other, but I'm going to say my daughters, two of them, they were at the house and they ate all the fish, every single drop of it. 
I, I wish I could have showed it to you. So this is what I want to do right now. I want to I want to talk about some takeaways. It doing it all over again. There's a couple of things that I would definitely recommend. Uh, I would wrap my banana leaves with the fish inside and some aluminum foil because I did have to contend with once the leaves got a little bit dry, uh, they wanted to kind of catch on fire and it kind of stimulated the fire because when you're cooking outdoors, when you're cooking over an open grill, and if you're not using charcoals, if you're using charcoals, you don't have this problem, but if you're using real wood, you have an issue uh, with the fire coming back up and, and, and then the ashes. So what I would recommend is to just wrap it in aluminum foil. I will go back and do it again. Uh, if you can cook with charcoals, if you don't want to go that woodsy type way, cook with charcoals. It'll keep some of the, the ash down. But the, the aluminum foil will live, eliminate all of that. So one thing, if I had to do it all over again, which I will, I'm, this is like one of the few dishes I'm going to make. I, I got to sample it because, you know, when you cook, you sample. It was good. Uh, but, man, my daughters, they wiped me out. I, I rarely have them where they don't leave me something. They didn't leave me anything this time. I think they thought I ate because uh, one of them took the SAT today and she hadn't eaten anything all day. So I, I'm not mad at her, but I was like, man, I wanted to do a video with a presentation. So needless to say, I couldn't give you the end results, but I hope it was worth your time. I hope it was beneficial and may everything you do, everything you touch, be blessed. And don't forget to keep on growing, y'all. Love one another. Peace and love.